Hello everyone, Freely here here, and welcome to today's episode called Under the Cover, where we'll be looking into RNG based perk rolls and combinations and seeing how they affect the weapon as a whole, from good perk rolls to bad perk rolls, and then give you an overall verdict. Today's weapon roll we'll be looking into is a new SMG called the Subjunctive, with a very unique pair of perks that I didn't believe would be possible to get in this perk pool, which are Genesis and Shield Disoriate. Two perks are both focused on stripping an enemy shield, and further rewarding you for matching the same shield type is a PvE roll in a million, and something quite rare to get. And although they are common to get from a single RNG roll, getting both at the same time is definitely a rare thing to get or even witness. Luckily, I've managed to nab one. So before we dive in, let's first look at the weapon stats for a better understanding. Impact 15, Range 33, Stability 43, Handling 69, Reload 25, Aim Assist 52, Recoil Direction 92, and a Magazine of 36. The stats on the SNG are relatively good, but not the best for most players to pick up and use, unless you get the ideal perks you're searching for. The only notable areas that are doing fine are its handling, aim assist, magazine count, and perhaps its recoil direction, although that could be improved on. Everything else now is either too low, or just needs a small boost to push them over the 50 threshold that it really needs. As the weapon is a lightweight variant, I can see this weapon doing incredibly well when paired with things like Rampage, Kill Clip, or Multi Kill Clip any damaging buffing perks, and then add on some extra mobility mods for yourself, and then further improve on his reload speed, and you can make yourself a little speed demon build, which can be effective in PvP or PvE, and making you near invincible to hit. Think of it kind of like having the Mida Multi tool, but on crack, if that's a good example. So if we were to go down this path, it would mean stats such as stability and range can be ignored, in this case here, you're going to be getting up close and personal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. In PvE, that's alright right to run with, but in PvP, it might be a bit risky with its low impact in TPK. Whatever you think of this weapon, it's not something extraordinary that you need to get because of meta, but its small perk pool is something worth investing in for easier perk selection, and the fact that you can grind for this weapon easily over the new Vex offensive game mode does give you a high reason to hunt for one, which could be more or less provide you with something worth investing in. Which brings us now to the two perks I managed to nab somehow, Genesis and Shield Disoriate. These two perks are something you would expect to see on a curated or pinnacle weapon type with their synchronizations, and yet here we are with a PvE role that can make taking on PvE shield enemies a whole lot easier. Genesis ability allows us to automatically refill our current magazine from reserve if we destroy a shielded enemy, and this goes for all elemental shielded enemies. Now, if we do this to the respected elemental type of our weapon, then we can regenerate ammo on hit, which is even more great for the more higher tier PvE content. Shield Disoriate basically allows us to detonate matching shield elements and disoriate anyone nearby the explosion. Handy if things get too crowded or in a heated moment and you need room to breathe. Now, combine these two into a nimble SMG or a AR or such that can hold its own against a well toughened major enemy or those that come in heavily with shields already, and you'll have a weapon capable of making your life a whole lot more easier than many encounters you face. It can also shred shield enemies within one magazine count, and you also get rewarded by having ammo regenerate upon successful shield break. Like, I don't think I give you any more reasons as to why you should get it, literally just get it. And do you want to know another secret? This is the only SMG in game to date to be able to get this role at all. No other SNG can get this specific role, which gives you another reason to actually hunt one down and keep it as a sort of collector's edition, like all my other videos which aim for the same reasonable goal of keeping it or not. For my role, it also has high caliber violence for an extra bit of stopping power, and I also have added in an anti-barrier mod to double the effectiveness of the weapon against the highly immune shielded enemies. I recommend you do the same to cover all guards with yourself, and simply to make this weapon a literal shield breaker. Now, of course, comparing this to most other weapons in the game, it has its fair share of usage and advantages that others can compete. Though, there are a few downsides though for using it, which varies from its reload speed, which is very low and can be an issue to handle to the point of where too much things are happening and you can't keep up with killing and reloading and such. It, it is a major problem with this weapon, I've noticed. You can reload still, like, fine, but considering how slow it reloads, it kind of leaves you out in the open and it kind of ruins the overall feel of the weapon. 
Now, secondly, it is limited only to certain content in game, where facing a numerous amount of shield and enemies will be plentiful for you. This here can vary from higher tier nightfalls, raids, nightmare hunts, and some strikes. This may not sound so bad, but in truth, some encounters will probably require you to use some more effective weaponry that can do the job quicker, efficiently, and within less time. Thirdly, outside of the two perks, it's a very basic weapon to its core. Most weapons in the game can still be incredibly powerful even with terrible perks it may have rolled with, or simply its stats alone that support it. Not for this weapon though, it has okay as stats, average TDK, and that's it. Most players want a little bit more meat to their bone, which thankfully enough this weapon does have with its two perks for example, but outside of that, if you look for the next recluse for example, you're better off carrying it on to be honest. So overall, is this worth investing in and keeping it, or sharding it? The answer is keep, and this is simply because of how extremely effective and rare these perks combinations are. With the ability to disorientate enemies upon shield break, and the other chance of auto reloading your weapon the moment you break an elemental shield of any type while still firing at them point blank, is way too good to be left out for. Although limited, many of the content I played have showed a lot of shield enemies in the bulk wall ranges which helped me by a long shot as instead of me switching to a appropriate weapon for the elemental shielded enemy, I can simply just use this bad boy to do all the work, and it does the job very well. I'm not even going to talk about the PvP side of things and the perks becoming useless in the mode, but except from that, this is what a curated role for the new mode could be if Bungie decided to go ahead and add it in. Perhaps. So stop listening to me, and go out and get one and give praise to Iron Jesus as he is a fickle god at times. As if you get it, congrats, you've got a new shield breaker, and if you don't, just try and try again. So that comes to the end of the weapons perk review video for this week's content. I have plenty more weapons to show off with unique perk combinations and synchronizations that you should try and give a go, but I will show you all that in another time. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like, a sub, and share the videos with others who are also interested in this type of stuff. Also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Anthem Mage content if that's your type of thing. Link is down below. Once again guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.